my first day in professional baseball, I in 2005, you know, turning up to spring training, first day, the, you know, all there's all these younger kids, 17, 18, 19 years old, never never played professional baseball before. I was lucky. I had a few few guys with me. I had Joel Norton, Tim Kennelly, Brad Harmon. So there's a few guys around that had a little bit of a comfort zone, so we could all hang out together. But you know, you go, you walk into the clubhouse, and you know, I was still six foot three, six foot four, uh, 100 kilos, but it still felt like I was a small, small fry in the, in the clubhouse. You're, you're dealing with 25 to 30 year old guys who are just have been around the game for a long time. They're they're grown men, and you're still you're you're pretty intimidated. But at the same stage, you try you try and just work your way through it because you're there you're there for of the long haul you're there to I guess you're not you're not really trying to make the major leagues that year because it really that's very rare that it happens so I remember the pitching coach he had a meeting with all, all of us and he said you're not going to make the not going to make a team on the first day of spring training so everyone just just go through the motions don't don't try and blow it out today you know you're going to be here for a while. You know, no one's ever made a team of, in spring training on the first day, so that that kind of helps uh, out a little bit. Even though you, everyone's still nervous, you, everyone really doesn't know where they're going. It's kind of like the first day of school; you don't really know what to expect. Sure. But then you get into a routine, and it gets a lot easier. What's the difference? The the difference, you know, you, you start to realize when all the all the glamour wears off. It's it's just, it's still a, a, a job. You, you treat it as a job, but at the same time, you treat it you treat it like a game. So it's 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 a fine balance. But you gotta you gotta remember to act professional. You gotta you still gotta do all the, the tedious stuff that that people expect of you. Like you're doing your shoulder exercises, making sure you're prepared for spring training by running, lifting, having your arm in shape. Because it, even doing all that stuff, it gives you an edge coming into spring training where. Actually, spring training is meant to be the place where you start your preparation for the season. Yep. But if you can get a head start, head, head start on everyone else, why not? So my last couple of years, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot easier. I'm a young, I'm an older guy now. Uh, I've been around the same organisation for eight years. I was on the 40-man roster, which is the, the extended major league roster. So you see the guys on TV. That's the 25-man roster, and then there's 15 extra guys that are kind of like reserves. I was on that roster. So knowing, knowing all the coaching staff, knowing all the clubhouse staff, all the, the front office people, you know, you get, they sort of become your friends and you know, you know them pretty well. So it's a, lot, it's a lot more comfortable when you know the people around you. Sure.